Welcome to Suburban Living. This is Ed. We're going to take a little January hike here in the snow. Maybe cook us a little something to eat. Why don't you follow along with me? Nice, nice day here. It's going to get up upper 30s. Sun shining. Real nice day here in West Virginia. Let's see what we have here. Nice little spot. Looks like a deer have really been coming through here. Normally when you see a spot like that, you can tell where a deer has been bedding down, but that really doesn't look like it uh, has had a deer laying in it. Look at all the tracks through here. This is a little path I like to walk, do a little squirrel viewing on a day like today. Maybe we'll see some squirrels, maybe some deer. Uh, Hard to tell. Stay tuned. We're going to find a little spot to maybe fire up the stove, make a little breakfast, and I'll show you uh, our cook kit that we have with us here today. I'm not very far from the cabin. I'm out here by myself you want to be careful if you go hiking in the woods in the winter time by yourself there are places like this this little uh, little run here you see uh, there is some ice in that if you can see that very well a person might get down in something like that get wet get hypothermia a person might uh, might fall and break a leg or something very easy out here in the winter time for something like that to happen. So just be careful if you're hiking. Hike with someone else. Tell somebody where you're going. Tell them when you plan to be back. That way if uh, you're significantly past that time, they might be able to come looking for you. Those are just some thoughts. Ultimately do what you want to do, but you want to be careful. This is my property in West Virginia. My wife and I have just about 40 acres, 40.63. Here we have a deer path. See so we have a deer urinated right there, not long ago. This is a very, very pretty spot. Sorry for how shaky this is. I'm trying to walk up this bank. It's a little bit slick. Okay guys, I don't know if you can see, there's a deer right out there. Right about in the center of the screen. She's standing there. See if you can see her run when I walk a little closer. You can really pick them out when it's snowing. When there's no snow on the ground, you can walk through the woods sometimes and walk right past the deer if they wanted to stand there. Okay, I found a little spot where I want to boil a little water, either make some coffee or make me something to eat. Something you want to look for when you go to sit down in the woods, you want to look up and make sure there are no dead limbs. We call those widow makers. Also, you want to make sure that there is no snow hanging off these limbs. You start to make your breakfast. If you're building a little fire or if you um, have a pot on there, you don't want a bunch of snow falling off a tree uh, onto what you're making. So those are just some things, especially the widow makers. You want to be careful when you're setting up camp. 
when you're just sitting down in the woods, if you might be hunting or just taking a little rest, look up. First thing you do, look up. Even when you're walking, look up in the trees. Make sure that those limbs that look like they could fall, they look dead. Uh, make sure you don't even walk under those unless you just have to and just get out from underneath them just as, as quickly as possible. I'm going to set up here. I have this little pad. This is uh, a little pad to sit on. These are only about two bucks shipped on Amazon and um, nice little pad you can set on. I'm going to use it. I'm going to set it right down here in the snow. I'm going to put my knees on it and that way I can keep my my knees from getting wet. All right, I'm gonna get out my cook kit and try to get some water boiled. Okay, got my little backpacking stove out here. This all nests inside of this pot. This is a Tokes brand, 750 milliliter pot. Here's a little can of fuel. Also, uh, the stove folds up in this very little stuff sack. I have a Tokes foldable spork here that nests in there and then I also carry a lighter. I carry an extra lighter also in in my pack. Be good to have a windscreen up too. I have one. It's just not very windy today and so I'm not going to put that up right now. It would certainly help in the boil time of this water. Okay, I decided I'm going to make some ramen noodles here. This is my little uh, titanium foldable tokes spork. Comes with a little stuff sack fits inside of my pot there and it's certainly adequate. I haven't been able to use it yet so I'm looking forward to trying it out. I'm sure it'll be fine here. As far as I'm concerned about sporks, they're not really very good spoons. This one may not be too bad. They're not very good forks. You know, they're just middle of the road. They're not great, but they're something that um, are multi-purpose that you can use. Okay. Not really a rolling boil as of yet. I like to take these ramen noodles and break them up, obviously. You can't throw them in whole in these small cups. I'm going to put those babies right in there. About three minutes and they're done. And there's better ways to cook, more efficient ways, maybe with a pot cozy or something like that to where you don't waste fuel for three minutes. I'm going to let that go for maybe another minute and then I'm going to turn off the fuel and then let it sit there in that water, steep in that water for, for a while. Okay, those noodles are done. I just put uh, the little seasoning packet in, put the lid back on, turned everything off. Something I wanted to show you. I have all my trash, everything here. I want to leave this area looking about like it was before I came. Obviously, I've disturbed the snow. I'm not worried about that. But I want to haul out everything I brought with me. I don't want to just leave that trash in the woods for someone else to pick up. And so take things with you when you go and leave it better than, than when you found it. Okay, I'm going to take this pot, I'm going to take this snow, and I'm just going to put it down in there and I'm gonna use that to cool it off and then also clean things up the best I can out here as I'm on this day hike I'll clean it up pack it all back together put it in my pack and that way it'll be pretty clean fairly clean by the time I get back and when I get back to the house I'll go ahead and clean it out properly with uh, some soap and water and that way I know uh, no funk will be growing inside of it and um, it'll be able to take care of me the next time I'm out. You know, you take care of your gear, take care of your equipment, and your gear and your equipment will take care of you.